All right, welcome to your Algebra 1 exam review packet. A couple hundred points here. I'm gonna, uh, there's 20 different worksheets, and I'm going to work, walk you through each one. Let's start out with the first one. First one, one-step equations. Right? In each of these equations, to solve the equation, we need to isolate the variable. It means get the variable all by itself. So if I look here, here's our variable n, and it's got this negative 3 that we don't want with it. So to get rid of that, we're going to add 3 to cancel out that negative 3. Of course, you have to add 3 on the other side as well. That gives us 9 equals n. I'm going to go ahead and circle your answer. You're done. Pretty straightforward. Uh, let's see. Let's do a couple other examples here. This one here, a little bit trickier. We've got our x. It's divided by 17. So to undo this division by 17, we need to multiply by 17. Of course, that means you have to do the same thing on the other side. When you multiply a fraction by a whole number, you just multiply the numerator by the whole number. Remember, the numerator tells you how many, or how many pieces you have. The denominator tells you the size of the pieces. And here, we, uh, when we multiply, the number of pieces we have, we, we increase the number of pieces, but we don't change their size. So it's 16 pieces, 17 or 1 17th each. When we multiply by 17, we're just increasing the number of pieces. So let's get our calculator out here. Uh, 16 times 17, 272. 272, still 17th, still negative, by the way, equals x. We could say we're done, but I think we could reduce this fraction. So let's go 2, 7, 2, A, B, C, 17, and the calculator will do the reduction for us. Let's see. 16. So negative 16 equals x. All right, let's do another example. Let's see, here. It's 5 times x equals negative 65. We want to get rid of this 5. Well, undo multiplying by 5, we have to divide by 5 on both sides. So that's going to give us x times 5 divided by 5 is just x. And over here, negative 65 divided by 5. Well, let's pull out our old calculator here. 65 divided by 5, 13. 13. Of course, that's a negative 13. So there, we're done. All right, so I've done three examples here that I think pretty much cover, looking here, everything that you're going to find on this sheet. Make sure that you show what your steps were, and I prefer if you circle your answer before you're done. Make sure you check your answers before you go, and good luck.